And I wish, you know, see, here's the outlet over here. I wish I had put another outlet down there. But, you know, live and learn, live and learn. All right, y'all, I am going to give you a bit of a sneak peek here into the Commonwealth cabin, but I have an ulterior motive here. My ulterior motive is to maybe toy with the idea of doing, you know, Lonnie style here and carrying my GoPro around. I do my, I don't know if you know this, but I do my videos in the Commonwealth uh, cave in there, in the eBay cave. I do those just using an iPhone. And it's pretty easy because the camera's stationary. But I was thinking, you know, I could, uh, I could do that, you know, maybe from this angle or something like that. And I could do that in here, and I might do it from time to time, but I thought maybe when we did videos in here, we do them a little bit different than that. And I would walk around and I would show you things. You know, I've got a few things here that I need to open these. These are a bunch of poly bags. And I've got something here that Roy from RK Treasure Center suggested to me. Here's the Rolo printer and the giveaway ended up giving away $100. So that's the Rolo printer we're gonna use in here. I've got to get this. I've got to send this pirate ship. I'm going to send this to Renee at Paper and Moose. Got this at that garage sale last week. See, this is what I'm doing here. i got to practice using one hand. These guys are old pros at it, and I'm not sure I can do one-handed videos here. So you see that? It's pretty cool. I like it. But I've got to get that open. I'm going to put them in here. I love this. This is what I used to have. You never saw it in the other one, but I have the little poly bags in here and just little supplies. And so I'm running low on that size. And I think that's what I bought. I bought 600 poly bags. Should last me a while. So I haven't done this before, but you know, I have the different size boxes. There's the four by four. I've got to get used to figuring out those are the eight by six by four. Got to get used to figuring out where everything is. Extra supplies here. I'll probably put tape there. I'll probably put the printing labels there. I've got extra boxes over here. I don't know. I've got quite a bit of room. I'm not sure. You know, I got to fill this up as I find items. I'm going to fill things up and put them here. I think what I'm going to do with those Inaman is put them up there in that little tin so they're not so obvious there. And then maybe I'll put some more up there. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to put those, that big one, the bottoms up, which only one viewer's got so far. I don't know. Bottoms up, in a man. So I'm going to put that up there. I'm That sign right there is going to end up probably going back up there is my guess. And we'll put some stuff there and we'll change it because y'all don't want to look at the same thing all the time. I do like this idea here of putting the Ikea bags in here. I saw a post on, I think it was RVA Flip's Facebook group, and John was like, what do you do with all the extra Ikea bags laying around? And so when I saw that post, I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a little container for that, and I'm going to put all my little Ikea bags in there. And then I'll have an extra bucket back there for extra bubble wrap and packaging and stuff. And of course, there's the bubble wrap there. I think I'm going to get rid of this other foot locker. I don't know, I'll probably put it in my booth. And over here, I've got my antenna hanging down. I need to mount that on the wall. And this light over here, too, is going to get mounted up there. And I'll, I'll use it when I'm just doing videos, probably. But I'm probably going to find, I'm probably going to make a little cubicle, like a 6x2 cubicle, and put it over here underneath the TV for some extra storage, is my guess. And then use the rest of the wall space. I've got to repaint that because I accidentally screwed it up. And then use the extra space over here. For more pictures and whatnot. I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe putting license plates up there at some point. I'm not quite sure. But we will have to see. This I really like. And I there's too much blank space back here. Unless I'm hanging up shirts, I suppose, during videos. Not quite sure what we're gonna do, but it's fun to think about it. And I wish, you know, see here's the outlet over here. I wish I had put another outlet down there. But, you know, live and learn, live and learn. Um, there's an outlet behind that TV. There's an outlet there. There's an outlet back there, which I'm going to use for my air conditioner. I didn't tell you. I'll probably, you've probably seen this on the other show by this point, but look at all those LU shirts I bought. Two bucks for the t-shirts, four bucks for the polos, brand new. So, at any rate, I don't know. Tell me what you think of the setup. 
I'm just kind of practicing here, so I appreciate y'all coming along with me and practicing with me. I'm going to show you something here real quick. Let me show you what I bought. All right, so here's what I bought. This is a Link Linksys uh, Signal Booster. Now, I have trouble inside my house with a signal. Sometimes I can't even ship on eBay inside my house. So out here, I thought it would be a real problem. Now, right now, Internet's working fine, and I probably could hook this thing up and, uh, and print out here. But I have a hard time over here on my TV getting YouTube, and it won't pick up. So I'm going to try this signal booster, see if we can get it to work. If not, we're going to have to switch or something, because I really have got to be able to, to get pretty pretty good signal out here. And I hope to uh, maybe even I'd love to do a live show every once in a blue moon in here. I'm not I don't like the idea of doing lives too much anyways, but I'd like to be able to do it if we wanted to. All right, the second thing I got were these poly bags. I think these are all the same size. Let me see. Is that one a little bigger? Yeah, that one looks a little bigger, doesn't it? So they're a little bit different. I'm gonna put them in the right drawer here. I'm down a little bit. And, you know, this is easy access for my shipping. Really love this idea. I mean, this was my, uh, my goal was to have this set up right here. And I really love it. The only problem is the access up there. I literally have to get a ladder in here to grab any of these supplies. And that's a pain in the butt. But, you know what? <laughs> it's up and out of the way, so I can't complain too much. And once you get them down here, they last quite a while, I suppose. So I'm going to take some of these bigger ones and put them in their right drawer. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do because I buy extras of these that can't fit in here. I thought maybe I'd put them over here and just stack them up in that little cubby and then use... See, that's got tape there and then the shipping labels. And I should be able to put tons and tons of those down there fairly easily. Or, like I said, over here use this cubicle. I'm going to make a little cubicle 6x2, I think. And maybe 8 by 2 I'm not quite sure. It'd be a pretty long one. Obviously, obviously the door's got to open up and be able to store that kind of stuff over here. The hope is to have no merchandise in this side. And I had to buy some more. I hate buying these things because if we're out garage selling right now, I wouldn't buy any of them. But I'm going to have dual use now. My death pile is going to be organized inside. And uh, so I'm going to keep those tubs that I already have in there. And then we're going to put the rest in here. So... That's the plan anyways. I think you've seen this on the other show, maybe. But my boy came in and filled these up today with the inside inventory for our new SKU system, which I haven't got organized yet, but eventually maybe. I still wanna make the transition first and then start the SKUs as we start moving through it. But I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this space back here. I'm thinking a couple things here. There's enough room now with this wall. But I'm thinking maybe hanging things here and having a little kind of cabinet or something down there to do CDs or something like that. Because there's plenty of space. But another thing is to use this back wall and to have a shelf that comes out like 8 inches and goes all the way across because there's enough space. I don't want to just waste it back here. But there is going to be an air conditioner in there. A little bit more light would be nice. These are pretty good on this side, so you can see. Back here it gets a little bit dark. I'm gonna put the plush over here in that one, so. I think I like the setup here fairly well. I think I might, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Who knows? You know what, let's do a little giveaway. If you're watching this video, we're gonna do a giveaway right here. I'm going to give away a Misfit Inaman on this video. And I'm going to give away two other things. Let me go get them out of the eBay cave and I'll bring them in here and tell you. Alright, so we are going to give away one of these three things. Your choice. I know a lot of you don't want that out there. A lot of you uh, women certainly don't want it. And a lot of you men, your wives would kill you. So my wife wants it gone and somebody asked for it. So I figured I'd put it in here. Maybe they can win it. So I autographed it. It came from a video. It's got. Uh, it's one of our most popular videos. It's kind of one of the videos that put us on the map, to be honest. It was, uh, I think it was entitled, Better Keep My Mouth Shut at This uh, Church Garage Sale or something like that. And I couldn't believe they were selling something like this at a church garage sale. But it is what it is. Here's one that missing the T. It says, Flea. So we got a Misfit and a Man. And here is a jewelry magnet. 
So if you're out there finding jewelry, we have a jewelry video. If you type in Commonwealth Picker uh, jewelry or something like that, I can't remember. You'll probably find it. Maybe if I can remember, I'll uh, put a link to it in that video, in in this video. And Brandon did it with us, and I had a lot of success finding jewelry, and we have some of these, so I'm gonna send one of these off. So what you do is just put which one of these three you want. Just put jewelry magnet. Put uh, I don't know what you put. Uh, going south and then put it's in a thumbnail of one of our garage sale videos you can find it if you look at the garage sale video uh, playlist on commonwealth picker or put uh, misfit in a man you can have your pick and whichever ones you don't want we'll put on a future video and we'll keep trying to give them away so anyway that ought to be fun there you go see paid off watching this video i'm just uh i'm just practicing here so i appreciate y'all being patient with me and hopefully I can get a good gauge whether or not this is what I want to do or not or how I want to do it. You know, I don't really want to do exactly what Lonnie does and he goes back and he pulls from the bins and, and you'll see John Cincinnati Picker do that as well. I don't know, maybe I'll do it every once in a while, I guess. Who knows? Maybe I'll put a couple clips of him in doing that and then I'll do what I typically do on the other show. The problem with doing that is I like to yap too much. And if I put all that in the video too, I don't get to yap as much. So y'all tell me what you think. You tell me what you think of the cabin. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Actually, don't tell me what you don't like. You hurt my feelings. So <laughs> I'm kidding. I have some extra spaces. You know, I have bunches of extra spaces back there for license plates. I'm going to put like right here. I've ran out of license plates for now. Although somebody sent me this gift that I'm going to open for a video for Commonwealth Picker and i'm putting them on the sides right there like you can see and each one's going to be a different state i think i'm gonna have a total of 30 bins in here so there'll be 20 states that are left out i guess maybe we'll put them somewhere else but who knows i don't know how long it'll take to get 50 states anyways i was thinking of maybe a bulletin board in here maybe a bulletin board up there i'm gonna put a shelf here i think so i can set down a camera and at least I can do that from time to time. But I'm thinking maybe a bulletin board and I can put all the business cards that I get. You know, I have a bunch inside. I've got a few right here so far, but I want to have a bunch more. So, anyway, we appreciate you joining us here. And hopefully, don't forget to, to put a comment down below and maybe you can win something. And give me some pointers here. Give me some advice. What do you want to see in here? Do you want to see me vary up the videos and the style of the videos? It's all a moot point until I get this thing working anyway. So, anyway, thank y'all for joining us on this channel. It means a lot to me. The people that have come over to this channel have really, really been nice and are really, really excellent supporters of me and my family, and we do appreciate it. If you happen to be watching this on this channel and you don't know I have another channel, the Commonwealth Picker channel, you can go over there and check that one out. That's the bigger of the two channels. And my guess is eventually this channel will be the channel that this show is on. And that channel will just be for garage sales and picking and stuff like that. So, anyway, thanks for joining us and come back next time. And it'll be a few days and we'll announce a winner. See ya.